What's going on guys? Mark Galloway here. Today I got something brand new from Subway. Now for further taste test videos, although, although I don't do them as much, I'm going to be still backing them down a little bit because I want to start really getting on my diet eventually and start going back to the gym, especially when it comes to times when I'm not working on videos or writing or whatnot. But we're going to be doing review on the Subway one foot long sidekicks. So they're actually new ones that I've actually heard about for quite some time now. I didn't know if they were ever going to be released or I didn't know if it was just, you know, fake announcements or rumors or whatnot. But it's right here. We have, I can feel this one right here. This is the churro. This is the pretzel stick. And we have the cookie. And that's actually very crazy, I think. And I think this is, this is a genius idea, but I'm going to be trying these myself. And I'm going to see if they're any good. The churro is actually based off of the brand uh, Cinnabon. I, this is actually a collaboration with uh, Subway's collaboration with two brands, Aunt Ani's and Cinnabon. So yeah, so the churro might not be that special, but we're going to still try to go ahead with it anyway. I think all churros have been one foot long, especially when it comes to fares. And this one looks pretty clean and very well made. Let's see what this is all about. Hmm. Mm. Tastes like a typical churro for the most part, but it's a little chewy. It is chewy, like about 30% chewy, but most of it was suppo it's supposed to be crunchy. So I think if you get this at Cinnabon or at the fair or anywhere else, you're going to have a more authentic churro. I'm gonna give this a uh, four. It does taste delicious. It's just chewy churros just don't do it for me. Next, we have the pretzel bun. And I actually got something with it. Well, I actually got this at 7 Eleven, but I'm gonna show you what I got. This is a coffee cup filled with cheese, nacho cheese. And it's supposed to go well with the pretzel stick. So I got this sep um, separate down the street from Subway. But let's take a look at this uh, pretzel stick. Let's see what this is all about. It's still pretty nice and warm. That looks pretty nice. And there's a little less salt on it. And I do actually appreciate that. I know salt is supposed to go well with the pretzel. But too much is just ugh, way too much. Less salt is good. So we're gonna try one bite with no no cheese and one with. So here we go. It does taste very spirited to the actual pretzel. Now let's dip it in the cheese. Mmm. That's good. Oh, that cheese has a kick to it, actually. So the cheese is actually for, like, you know, chili dogs. I tried to get one that doesn't really have that, but... Still couldn't. The pretzel stick, though, it's good for what it is. Um, I'm going to give it a solid uh, 7. Although, I do appreciate that there's less salt... It could have had just a little bit more, but it's good. And finally, the grand finale. Oh boy, the one foot long cookie. And it's still very fresh and warm. It's gonna be very hard to get out of this dish. It's kind of basically stuck in there. Oh, I got it out, barely. So we're gonna eat it just like this. Pretty good. The cookie is actually the best one out of the three. The cookie, though, I'm going to give it 
I don't know. I don't know if it if, if I feel something is off about it. You know what? I'll give it an 8.5. It's good. I do like how it ha has crunchy, but it also has gooeyness in some parts. For what it is, though, it's pretty, it's a fun one. For kids, like, to have a one-foot-long cookie is pretty exciting. The thing is that, like, it can be a little bit of a challenge, though, mainly just to hold without it falling apart. For what it is, though, it's pretty delicious. So, the new sidekicks... I do think it's a genuine, I do think it's, a, no, not genuine. Um, I actually do think it's a pretty creative and pretty good idea. Um, there just uh, could be a few improvements. So that's just my opinion. Uh, so what do you think of the sidekicks? Um, have you tried them yet? I mean, give it a try. Not saying don't do it. Not saying exactly that I recommend. But if you want to go, if you want to try it, go right ahead. It's your choice. Um, I'm not trying to say it in a bad way, but... <clears throat> But they can be enjoyable. I just think they just need a little bit of improvements. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like down below. Leave a comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. And that's that. I'll see you guys next time.